And with me right now is Sue Margolis. Uh, she is the president of the United Board. And a few things you're going to talk about. You had your meeting earlier this week. Right. Nice to see you today. Thank you. It was yes. good to come in this morning. I love getting up in the early cold mornings yeah. <laughs> and with rain. Um, this was a light month because in December a lot of meetings were canceled right, right. because of the uh, holidays and so forth. But there were several items passed by the, uh, by the board in the meeting, and I think the residents should become aware of them. The first is the bad news. Uh, the late fee, the fee for late charges and fines and fees was increased to cover the cost of processing. This hasn't been done for a long time, and it went from $10 to $35. So pay your things on time. Don't yeah. get us in this bind. The late charge is assessed when members fail to make payments for services the mutual is not responsible for. And the next thing, which probably will be, uh, is a great we're really excited about landscape department wants to pr the process for tree trimming to change to species based. There are about 15,000 trees of 236 different species in United. And in the past, the process called for an inspection and trimming on a 34 month cycle. So people would go look out after 34 months at right. the various areas <clears throat> and it just didn't some trees were not trimmed when they needed to be trimmed, mm -hmm. and some were trimmed before. So based on the inspection, it was put on the trimming list, which made it difficult to budget, and labor needs were not. So now we're going to do a species-based trimming, so we'll know when we need to go out and look at this. We're going to do it based. We know that they grow at a certain amount each year. Right. And the management of labor, it'll be much easier to budget and manage the labor. So that's the uh, staff expects to see a reduction in annual cost as well better trimmed trees. So okay, very good. I think good. that's a real good thing. <clears throat> the other one that was passed is from landscape as well is the yellow stake program. This has been around for many years and it's an option for residents to ma maintain, the, maintain, keep that word in mind, planting areas immediately adjacent to the manure. And I wanna emphasize maintain, this is not a free-for-all. Due to the issues arising out of unmanaged expansion of the yellow stake areas into common areas, there has been very little oversight or documentation as to who has had mm -hmm. yellow stake areas. So the procedure will, from now going forward, require that the residents submit a, to a landscape request form for the committee's approval. The change ensures that all changes and will be documented, and it'll reduce future issues. All well-maintained existing yellow stakes that are within the current boundaries, i.e. approximately six feet from the manor walls, will be grandfathered in. Remember, plantings cannot require more water than the current plantings. Water has become very precious here mm -hmm. and expensive. Our bills have gone up tremendously this month. The last item was to fill the position of treasurer. Elsie Addington resigned as treasurer, but will comp continue to be on the board. She was doing a fine job, but felt that it's not what she wanted to continue doing. In her place, Brian <coughs> Gilmore was elected by acclamation, and we're looking <coughs> forward to his keeping our finances in line. I would like to alert our residents to the projects our committees will be working on this month. I'm putting together lists and we're working hard to, to get a low hanging fruit list together and okay. get things done. So we're working on an informational sheet that clearly spells out the conditions and procedures for asbestos removal. We believe that some of the contractors are gouging our residents on this issue. Okay. On, um as far as um, uh, just w their charges or yeah, the their way charges. they're coming in? And, and when requiring work when it's not necessary okay, and right. things like that. So we're, we're trying to make sure everybody's aware <laughs> okay. of what has to be done and when it has to be done. Um, there is, in the Sterling Act, we need, there is a requirement that we review all re 
reserve fund expenditures, and we're putting together a procedure for that okay. so that we keep control of the reserve fund expenditures. There, we're looking at the work orders, and we're looking in M and C why there are work orders open over 60 days. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to get a handle on okay. getting the number of days that a work order is open, and looking at how we can expedite <coughs> and make sure they get closed quicker. Some of these probably just didn't get closed or whatever, but we're going to go through the database and try to clean it up. We're monitoring the rollout of the first phase of the handyman program, and it will be starting in next week, and there will be a pilot project for the first two weeks, and then we will put the brochures everywhere so everybody can get on board on the handyman program okay. that wants to. And we're changing our voting procedures. We don't want to really do this, but we have to, to be in compliance with the newest laws. And there's some changes there that are not wonderful, but we will be putting them. We have to do it because. Yeah, are you talking about the voting procedures for board for members? For the board members, okay. for all board members. Okay. Uh, we had some checks and balances that we're, we are not allowed to put in anymore. Okay. So that we can, things have to be done in a different way. Okay. So right. we have to put this in. Uh, we are not looking at changing our bylaws at this point, even though it'll be in conflict with our procedures. But the law overrules everything we do. Okay. So we won't. The expense of the bylaw change is still up in the air. Okay. The last thing I want to discuss with you is that I've been meeting with the presidents of all the boards, the VMS, third, and GRF, and we're, decide, we're trying to, as a unit, decide the priorities for the village as a whole and working to give residents a unified message. So we're trying to combine ourselves. We will want to do things together so we don't waste our resources and give staff conflicting messages. So okay. we're working as a team now. The, VS, the VMS board under Wei Ming leadership is putting together measurements that will drive improvements, and we're looking at a very busy year for staff because we're looking at a lot of improvement that we want to see done. We're hoping to use the members to shore up our ranks so we can get more done. And if you are a resident that have something that you think should have a high priority that you would like to see some action on, feel free to let me know and I will add it to our prioritized list. I'm not promising to get it done, but we will definitely look into it. I cannot okay. make that promise. <coughs> there are many ways to volunteer in the village and I'm hoping everyone will get involved in activities, take advantage of what's offered, please step up, and act with kindness and do your part to make this a tranquil, hospitable place to live. I attended the Chinese New Year performance on Saturday. It was a delighted with the theme of harmony. And I would like this year to be a good year for all residents. We need to take care of each other, respect each other, and find to live a way to live in harmony. Let's remember, we live in a cooperative. Let's be cooperatively. All right. Thank you know, that you. Chinese New Year celebration looked was, wonderful. Oh, it was fantastic. And yeah. they really did a beautiful job. And the whole theme of being together and working together and doing things as a unit was really yeah. pre, pre made. They the always put thing. on a wonderful presentation. They do put on a wonderful Good presentation. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you I'll for I'll see you next time. Me. Yep. You take care. You, thank you very much. And we'll be right back. <laughs>